Good evening and welcome to the news. I'm Dinesh Fentley. Here are today's headlines. Defence Minister holds high-level meeting with the Chief of Defence Staff and three service chiefs on the Ladakh situation. Five more COVID-19 patients recover in Meghalaya, taking total recovery to 37. Meghalaya celebrates the 6th International Yoga Day. Special programs and sessions mark the occasion. And people in several parts of India witness the annular solar eclipse with the majestic ring of fire. The news in detail. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh today held a high-level meeting with the Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat and three service chiefs on the situation in Ladakh. As per reports, after the review meeting, armed forces were given full freedom to deal with any aggressive behaviour by China's PLA along the LAC. The meeting also discussed ways to adopt a different tactical approach in guarding the border with China henceforth. The top military brass have, were also told to ensure strict vigil on Chinese activities around land borders, airspace and in strategic sea lanes. In Meghalaya, five more COVID-19 patients have recovered, taking the total number of recovered patients to 37. This was informed by the Chief Minister Conrad Sangma in a tweet, tweet on Sunday. Meanwhile, Health Minister A.L. Hex said that the rate of people recovering from the corona epidemic in Meghalaya is the best in the country. He added that the positive cases is very low here because the state government has been cautious and every necessary steps have been taken. Heck further pointed out that the World Health Organization has also praised Meghalaya for this. The total number of cases detected so far is 44. In our country, Meghalaya, they have been doing the best. I'm telling recovery is very high, and also the even the positive cases are very less. It's media to compare with any other state in the country. And we are managing and controlling very well the state of Meghalaya. Even the WHO, World Health Organization, also has recognized the maintenance containment done by the state government of Meghalaya in the health sector. In what could be termed as a gesture of goodwill in response to the invitation of talks for resolving their demand, the Joint Action Committee of Transporters has decided to temporarily suspend their indefinite strike with immediate effect, thereby paving the way for transportation of clinkers and cements which was stopped since the 15th of June last. This was decided during the urgent general meeting held yesterday at Parmer. The government of Meghalaya on January 13th last had announced that the new rate of transportation for heavy and medium goods vehicles is 9 rupees per meter per kilometer for black topped roads, in gravel roads 10 rupees per meter per kilometer and 12 rupees per meter per kilometer for Kacha Road. However, the cement companies in East Jantia Hills have failed to implement the new rate of transportation and the JAC has called for an indefinite strike. Speaking to the chairman of the JAC, Nehemiah Tinkan, said that things will depend now on the meeting which will be held on the 25th of this month. Now, Commissioner, Commissioner uh, Transport Department, the RAI who suspend the strike of each report, they took the government that put the claim in the Arusan Perik, Yong Yong Bunai, Arajar Atal. The Mumbai Human Meeting, the Human Chairman of the Meeting, the Chief Minister, Rangkat Wu Minister in charge of the transport industry. Fire engulfed two houses at Muatam to Berk Mai Chinong East Giant Hills on the wee, in the wee hours of Sunday morning. One Ajol Sana was rushed to civil hospital where he is undergoing medical treatment. The local Dorbar Chinong expressed dissatisfaction on the delay made by the fire services as they responded only at 1.20 in the morning. Even though two LPG gas cylinders exploded, the other nearby houses were not affected. According to the family, the total damage is estimated to be 4 to 5 lakh rupees.
Environmental experts have claimed that the expansion of the Shillong to Tamabil Highway will not have a serious impact on the environment. The Shillong Tamabil project includes construction of a new bridge over the Umgat River at Dauki and the new four-lane highway will, which will link with Bangladesh. Speaking to DD News Shillong, environmentalist Naba Bhattacharji informed that a thorough environment impact assessment has been conducted, keeping in mind the importance of the environment. The project aims to imp improve connectivity and also boost trade and commerce for the people of the state, Bhattacharji informed. He also said that the Japanese International Cooperation Agency that is funding the project have planned to build an engineering marvel bridge over River Umgat by constructing 105 meters pole bridge making state of an arc. You see, as far as the environment is concerned, there is not much of an impact on this road except for that stretch in that 101 area beyond that and uh, the upper Shillong near that Air Force Center. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on the occasion of the 6th International Yoga Day said that yoga brings people together and gives a message of universal brotherhood. He said yoga has emerged as a force for unity and it does not discriminate and goes beyond race color, gender, fate and nations. Meanwhile, joining in celebration of the International Yoga Day, various programs were organized in various districts to mark the celebration. In Reboy, the Art of Living organization held a yoga event maintaining physical distance and following safety norms in view of the corona pandemic. Ses sessions such as Surya Namaskar besides others were conducted. Similar programs were also organized in West Jayanti Hills district by the Dorbar Chnong Chilyang Rai Jawai at its community hall. The Art of Living Chilyang Rai unit and Lumpurdi Yong Pya took the initiative in conducting the yoga session for the participants. Meanwhile, the Assam Rifles too celebrated International Yoga Day with the participation of all ranks, families and children in consonance with the theme Yoga at Home, Yoga with Family while adhering to COVID-19 precautions. अगर हम योगा कंटिन्यू कर रहे हैं तो क्या होता है इससे हमारा इम्यून सिस्टम स्ट्रांग रहेगा और हमारा ब्लड सर्कुलेशन और बहुत सारी चीजें हैं जो हमारी स्ट्रांग रहेगी मतागसी गदेगसी योगा दे कबा इले कमेना बरो का रीजोंगी ते नास कुमेन शिबुन बा ngala यो कलात कुम कने हकने कसी कबा ngala बन चिमबंता कने कसी सो टुडे द फीलिंग ऑफ दैट योगा इट एक्चुअली विल से जस्ट टेक मी टू द नेक्स्ट वर्ल्ड to the better world which made me feel really relaxed and the body feels so light and so well nourished I can say after doing yoga us the country is witnessing a rare celestial event the annular solar eclipse today the annular ring of fire solar eclipse wherein the Sun appears like a ring of fire is visible in different parts of the country this solar eclipse coincides with the summer solstice when the northern hemisphere has the longest day. For our viewers who have just tuned in, here's a quick recap of today's headlines. Defence Minister holds a high-level meeting with the Chief of Defence Staff and three service chiefs on the Ladakh situation. Five more COVID-19 patients recover in Meghalaya, taking the total number of recoveries to 37. Meghalaya celebrates the 6th International Yoga Day. Special programs and sessions mark the occasion. And people in several parts of India witness the annular solar eclipse with a majestic ring of fire. That's all the news we have for you today. Thank you for watching. We'll be back same time tomorrow. Have a good evening and stay safe.